as you and then explain you what is an abstract class, which is important Java and Kim question. An abstract class is a special kind of class that cannot be instantiated. So the question is why we need a class that cannot be instantiated. An abstract class is only to be subclassed. Okay. In other words, it only allows other classes to inherit from it, but cannot be instantiated. The advantage is that it enforces a certain hierarchies for all subclasses. In simple words, it is a kind of contract that enforces all the subclass to carry on the same hierarchies or standards. Okay. To simply say it cannot be instantiated, it gives a default behavior for the subclass. For the subclasses, okay. A Java abstract class can have instance methods that implement the default behavior. An abstract class may contain non final variables. A Java abstract class can have the usual flavors of class members like private, protected. An abstract class can extend another Java class and implement multiple interfaces. A Java abstract class also cannot be instantiated. It cannot be instantiated but can be invoked by me. I am just giving you a class diagram. There is a class called core, which is an abstract class, and the concrete classes, the specialized classes and generalized class, BMW and Innova. The default behavior for BMW and Innova are written in car class. So always the default behavior written in generalized class, there is an abstract class so that duplication of code is See, it can be. 